Hi, my name is Avril Sorter and welcome to this short video. What we're going to do today is take a look at how I can apply filters to data that I've captured across my network. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a tool called the Microsoft Network Monitor to do this, often referred to simply as Netmon. And I'm going to capture packets from my computer and we're going to apply various filters to them. So the first thing I want to do is actually select my adapter. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom and deselect these and leave my local area uh, connection highlighted because that's the one I really want to capture data on. Then I click the button New Capture and Start and you can see that I'm starting to collect packets. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to go away and make a couple of Skype calls and I'm going to surf the web so we can collect some meaningful data in order to apply our filters. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the packet capture for a moment. Um, you can apply the filters even while you're capturing the data. I'm just going to pause it, stop the screen refreshing itself. The first one I want to do is quite simply, I'm just going to apply an IP address. I can type in IP version 4 and I want to take a look at the address and I want that equal to my address which is 192.168.0.196 and I hit applied and now you can see in the frame summary section of the window that now all I'm looking at is packets that either have this IP address as the source or as the destination address. And of course, if I highlight one of these, you can see the detail in the windows below that show the hex format should I want to look inside the packet as well. So that's filtering based on IP address. Now what if I want to look at some specific traffic? Let's assume I want to take a look at all the HTTP traffic that's going across my network. Well the best way to look at something like HTTP traffic would be to sort based on the TCP port number. So let me just clear the text here and now I'm going to type in a new filter TCP and I select port and now I want that equal to 80. I apply this filter and you can now see if you follow across these these frames now you can see that they are all now HTTP port 80. So you can see now I've sorted based on IP address and then I can sort based on the type of traffic. So you can see that I've got quite a lot of Skype traffic. Why don't we just now filter and see if we can just look at our Skype traffic. So let me just remove these filters here. And one way of setting up a filter is rather than typing it in, I'm actually going to select the frame with the process type that I want. I'll right click it and select this option here, add process name to display filter. And you can see here now is saying select all the conversations with the process name. Anything that's now says Skype exec, I'm going to select. So let's apply that filter. And now you can see I have all of my Skype traffic selected. To finish up on this little video, I wanted to show you a technique that I use when I want to put more sophisticated filters together. And this is specifically for Netmon. And what I do is I come here where it says load filters and enter my standard filters here. And you can see the different types of filters that I can have. So for instance, we did one with TCP ports and you can see it'll actually drop in for me information about these filters. And then I can actually go ahead and alter these filters. So rather than creating my own, I can actually look at these standard filters and then decide how do I actually want to filter things out. So I can do lots of different things, you know, TCP, NetBIOS, my Wi-Fi traffic, authentication traffic, etc. So just by looking at these, it really helps you understand and get into more sophisticated field techniques that are really very valuable. So I hope you enjoyed this short video and I'll come back and join me for the next one.